Alright guys, before this video starts, I just want to say that, um, I have a new schedule for uploading it. Because I have school. Every three days, we have school in person. I'm not going to be uploading, but every two days where it's remote on education, I'm still uploading. But that's next month, sorry, next month. Because from now, today, every day in October, I'm going to record a new Minecraft video. So, watch out for that, if you like Minecraft. If you don't, then you could just wait until I stop uploading Minecraft videos. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Peace. Hey guys, we're going to run into and today we're going to be talking about the top 5 Minecraft minigames. And to start off with the first one, in my opinion, the first one is Mineware. I like this minigame for... One reason is because it's a great mini game to play for like if you're bored of other mini games, it's a quick game. You hop on, test your skills, and hop off for a little quick entertainment. But yeah, that's mainly reason I like mine. Where another reason I like it is because it really shows off your skills in playing video games and yeah, how well you are at parkour. Dodging, dodging and weaving, and really how fast you can click a button. Really, that's one mini game you have, and how like perspective your your how well you see you see things. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna say. And yeah, let's move on to the next game. Alright guys, so the next game is going to be Just Build or Build Battle or one any of the, or Master Builders, depending on your game, depending on the version you're playing, on the server you're playing. But this is a way you could see your building skills. The game is really fun to see other players' builds versus your build, and you could test out how well you are building compared to other players. That's one reason I really love it, and another reason is because to see how how other people handle different topics is amazing, and I really love it in this game, mini game. And I wish they did put more blocks in it though, because right now there isn't much you can do. Anyway, that's what I wanted to say, and I was you in the next mini game. Hi right, guys, so the next mini game is Speed Builder from Mindplay. This mini game is really to test your memory, and in my opinion, I find it fun to play. And it's, but some of the builds do get hard to remember at points, but it is a memory testing game, so that is expected. And best part about this is you can actually see if you did good by how they rate your percentage and if you even get close to doing uh, how they want it like 100% you move on to the next round really just a test your memory it's a memory game and which I actually love memory games they're pretty fun and yeah that's all I had to say about this mini game and I'll see you in the next one Alright guys, so the next mini game is Sky Wars. I love this mini game. It's a PvP mini game, and I love PvP mini games. Personally, Sky Wars is my favorite out of all of them, cause you are obviously in the sky, and there's so many different weapons you could use to knock players down or get them out of the match. And yeah, it's really fun to go to other people's base. And basically jump scare them and basically cause a fight right then and there so what they panic and winning gives you this great accomplishment feel, feeling and, and you really love winning in a game like this it really is a fun game and to anyone watching this video if there is any at all I should just go play in this game because it, it is fun and you will get addicted to it if you like PvP games. 
If you don't like PvP games, you probably shouldn't play a game like this. Alright, I'll see you in the next mini game. Alright guys, so the next mini game is different from the hive. This mini game, in my opinion, is one of the best. It's parkour based, and I love parkour in Minecraft, Roblox, game 3D games with parkour like this is amazing. You also got 2D game parkour, but that, but really you just call those um platformers. Just, but I really love Minecraft's approach to parkour, which you could do anything with the creativity and countless updates that it gives to bring new opportunities for parkour. And in Death Run, you have this leap ability, and it's really good to use. It gets you further, and basically, you're trying to, one, not die, and two, outrun all every other player in the game. Just seeing to who will get there first to who could get there last. And it's really fun to try and beat everyone. Because if you mess up once in first place, you get pushed all the way back to like the last place. To the last player. And that's something. It gives you that adrenaline rush to see if you can win. Anyway. That's it. That's all I gotta say about this mini game. And I conclude the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.